is a trifling human being. He should be very much ashamed of himself. I think he owes his mom an apology because he threw her home training gutter. He's a very sorry excuse of a man, and I really think he should be very ashamed of himself. Is it this one situation that no, made you feel that? No, it's not just this one situation. It's just being a genuinely malicious and vicious person. I feel so bad for Adekunle because no, 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 this is not acceptable in any way. No, 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 like no, 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 don't do it. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you a rundown of what happened. But most importantly, I'm just going to be talking about how I feel about this particular episode here. Yeah? Because some things not just they add up. So Alison, Donny and Dotto were cool. Week two. I used to cook for these people. It was the we were like one. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. We are trying to get to 50k and I can see that you're already subscribing, but guys, you can do better, okay? Hit the subscribe button and also hit this like button so that the video is going to get to many more people, okay? Now, let's dive right into the video. You didn't ask about sharing facts. So when this episode opened, they started with Brian and Khalid just having a conversation in the house about Hermes and his accent. And then when they came back, they asked Brian, Brian, what's up? You know, he just said, no, he was just asking randomly. It was not a big deal. Ebukana said, okay, why didn't you ask Shegs? It wasn't like Shegs was obvious that he was a Londoner and all that. So, yeah, they asked Khalid. So, it wasn't a shit. It wasn't, she, it wasn't uh, me trying to shit. Uh, Khalid said it was a random conversation as well. Ebuka said, this thing looks like a shade, but if you say so. Hemis also just said the fact that he grew up in a world shock, he just means that he put in hard work to learn how to speak the way he's doing and is wearing it with pride and no hard feelings. Moving on from there, they played another clip where Adekune was talking with Elo Swag about Alison. I'm just saying, man, it's more pronounced, man. It's interesting. And just talking about how Alison was beginning to fall for Hermes, but she doesn't know that he knows. So when they came back, they asked Adekunle, oh, what's up about that clip? He said it is what it is that he was just telling Luswag that if Alison finds out that he knows and everything that is going on, she moving to Hermes is just going to put her in an uncomfortable position and it's just going to be awkward for her as well. Luka asked Alison, the switch from Adekunle to Hermes was just like we slept and woke up one day, next thing you are on Hermes' bed. What was that? dynamic and she was just like when she saw him she was attracted to him because she was like oh this guy is an interesting guy she's usually attracted to people that are different you know and he was different so she was already attracted to him that but then she was already looking at adekule with the eye of oh this guy is smart this guy is intelligent but she had to get close to him to really know him and when she got close to him she noticed that he was being really sneaky like a snake and she just wasn't vibing to that so she just told him that see there's something about him that she couldn't figure out. So because of that, she bounced and then she moved to Hermes. That was what it was. And then they asked her, why did you say he was being sneaky and all that? She said eh, that there are some things in the house that he would just do. Like, for example, he came to her and was telling her things about doing Because doing was her friend at the time and she really likes doing at the time. But Adekunle would come and start telling her, oh, this girl is a bad friend. Don't follow her. Don't be with her. And it was just really somehow that he would be doing that. And it's not just her. A lot of people have been saying that he goes about talking. I was talking to her, I spoke to her about it. She was like, no, I'm not ready. And then she goes together, was looking at her. She said something about Another clip. And in this clip, Adekule was talking to Alison about doing, and he was just telling her that, oh, I heard this, I said this. In fact, anytime there is fight or trouble somewhere, doing is always there. That's why people have been calling her therapist. I feel like there's just something about her. I feel like you should be careful. And I noticed today also that when Modella left, doing was the first person to go and meet Brian, and he just somehow, so Alison was actually agreeing. When they came back, Ebuka mentioned that, Alison, just to be sure, just to be clear, that conversation was not one-sided you were actually agreeing with Adekule, you were not disagreeing with him, just to put that out there. Then they now went ahead to ask Doin, okay Doin, what do you say about this? I actually came to meet this trifling man and I said to him, do you have a problem with me? And he denied it completely. But then you go to the next person and say, this girl, she's the devil. 
she says she doesn't know that's how she started raining insult on this boy no problem if you want to say oh you are a liar why did you do this I, her explanation was valid because she was like okay you see that there's this or you are hearing things about me you could have just come to me if you have a problem with me and say oh this is the problem that i have with you and he'll be coming he'll be pecking her forehead he'll be doing like they are cool that there was a time she even went to him and said adequately do you have a problem with me he said no and then he's going about telling people oh don't follow doing doing is this don't follow doing doing is that that it doesn't make sense for him to do that like if he doesn't want to forgive her then that is fine but going around telling people not giving people the chance to actually meet her it doesn't make any sense and then she now went ahead to say that he's a sorry ass of a man and is, he has to apologize to his mother because her home training yeah you 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 that was just a lot what has he done to deserve all these things that she said like it didn't look like he did anything but let moving on okay, nobody has to take my word for it everything is on show max it's, it's, okay. it's already it's on show max he lied i promise you this boy tells you he's raining outside check he's a liar so Adekule now went ahead to explain his own side of the story and we reckon we that were reviewing the show we reckon that Adekule and Doin, Alison and um, Dotun, four of them, they were just like friends, like tight friends that week first week, second week he was cooking for them and in third week when Alison had started moving towards Hemis and all that, he heard Doin talking they thought he was asleep and he was, um, he was hearing them talking about him, saying that oh he's just pretending that he's sick, that he's not sick anything that he's just feeling um, miserable because of the the fact that Alison had moved from him and I remember this conversation this is a conversation that I remember I've tried to go to my old videos to try to see if I can find that conversation but I didn't see it. that's why I'm just here but you know he said he heard some things even another time he heard them talking again in the bathroom and it's not just one-sided the same way that she was talking about him she came and told him oh well I'm following Rachel now since Alison has left you he went to meet Rachel he, she came again so he was not isolated and then when he said these things next thing that won't come from nowhere I think it's okay to her me that you're playing again let me just it it's very okay it's yeah, a game yeah, finally i don't have to lie about no, it yeah you don't just have to blend it in lies and stuff no, game. you have to come straight man yeah it's, it's very good. necessary see you don't have to go yeah. like this it's no, really no, a you know many things you say you, you blame it on an hangover you just say something about an hangover that they don't even remember saying it's, it's, everything is just looking like just this Dotun, like Dotun, who call you? Who call you? Who? Why you? Who bring you inside this matter? Does it just come from nowhere? Oh, stop doing this thing. There's no need to lie. Just say that it was your game. Yes, he, he said he brought me to the final. I don't have anything to lose. Like, if I want to say that that was a game, I will say it is a game with my full chest. But it is one year later, and it's obvious that people still have the same mentality about me that I'm a liar, I'm this, I'm that, which is fine. Um, maybe kind of went ahead to ask Shags that, okay, Shags, what do you think about the situation? Because I know that you and Adekunle people have your own thing, but this particular situation, what do you think? I resonate a lot with what Dustin said. I would give you more respect if you stood up and you said, you know, I was playing the game, I got to the final. Went to SC. Yeah, you were the same team. So for me... <laughs> That's how Sheikh said he resonates with what Dotun is saying that if you play the game, just come out and say you play the game. That it doesn't make sense that even after the whole house, you came out of the house, maybe you were in a tight place, but you come out and you come to South Africa, you had the same mentality of this thing that you are doing, that it doesn't make sense that that's what he thinks. That yes, Adekunle was moving a certain type of way in the house and that is what Ebukana said okay but you believe Doin and you don't believe him because he, both of them have explained he's, saying, he's just talking from the fact that it's the same way that he was behaving in the house he brought that same behavior to South Africa that's why he's saying that anyways moving away from this but him he didn't take it too serious but the girl was taking it like all oh, serious and messy they played a clip of Fina talking with Beauty about a certain girl that Eloswag liked and they were just trying to figure out who she is her name and all that when they came back Ebuka was like Fina let's talk about the clip Fina don't they squeeze face what was that about not they squeeze face you despise since they put them out for that for the matter say Fina no squeeze face so because you don't they laugh since maybe they don't reach this tonight you don't they squeeze face Fina was like oh she doesn't remember that what the clip said it is what it is that she doesn't remember anything you know so they now ask Chomzi okay what does she think she says she feels like it's normal that anybody will want to know she liked a guy they kissed and everything so she would like to know everything about the girl 
that he likes, you know, so it's a normal conversation. But what she didn't understand was that did Eloswag actually mention that he liked somebody or he was just, you know, covering up. So Finn and I said talking about how the whole thing played out. For my she be saying no remember before. How come suddenly now you don't remember? She shall not explain that that was it, that she just was trying to figure out the girl that Eloswag likes because it was week two. She didn't know anybody, she didn't know Chomzi. She asked uh, Eloswag he refused to tell her, asked Chichi Chichi refused to tell her because Chichi and Chomzi were very close at the time too so she refused to talk but yeah that was just what it was anyways that was how this episode ended now let me say what i have to say i feel like these housemates are forming a coup against adekunle and it's not even fair like i'm just sitting down here and i'm thinking about it what is it that adekunle even did gong 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 what is the thing that he did that almost half of the housemates don't like him they don't resonate today nobody's even standing up for him nobody's supporting him they will say something uh, he will say something they will laugh this one allison was rolling her eyes throughout the period like everybody's just making him feel like he's stupid like like what's in the boy do like what did he do i understand that yes adekule played moved some certain way and all but what's in the thing when do a big pass one big thing yo I beg, yeah, that's just all I have to say. I, I don't, I don't like what's going on. It's not fair to him. Like, this is such a bad place to be. If this boy go commit suicide now, what's he then go talk? Then go they happy, Abby? The sneaky, sneaky boy, the liar, committed suicide. This is just so much, man. If like him and somebody they were exchanging words, you are mad, you are stupid. Then both of them exchange words at each other. I could say, okay, you insult me, I insult you. But no, you, no, you never reach like this. There's nothing that he said that wasn't true. In the house, everybody was talking about. In fact, outside the house, everybody was talking about the fact that doing is a therapist. Doing is always in everybody's business. Doing is going here to talk, going there to talk. And in fact, a clip resurfaced in in twitter tonight about how giddy fire and deji were just talking about her and how she's evil you know and all that a lot of people had that mentality about her so why is she attacking adekule like this and doing as if he was the only one that had that mentality about her i beg anyways i like doing but this this one is just so low so so low i'm not even going to lie was it what the, if you have come this far you're the real mvp and until next time i'm going to see you on the next one Bye bye